Hi, this is Witches Hex. I'm here to talk about how to set up your Virtual Boy emulators so that you can stream them, play them, etc., and not have them look like crap. So, to start off, there's two different emulators you're going to need for different games. We're going to start with the first one, VBGin. Uh, VBGin is the simplest Virtual Boy emulator. It's what you're probably going to want to use. Um, when you don't have to use the other one, which we'll get to why you have to do that later on for certain games. But VBGen is pretty simple. It just opens like this. You can open your game. So we're gonna pick we're gonna pick Jack Bros. And Now, something to note is, by default, your video display will pick both. Now, this looks like crap for you, and if you're streaming or recording these videos, it's also going to look like crap for whoever's watching. This is a little painful to look at. So what you're going to want to do to fix this is go to View, go to Video Display, and either click select right only or left only. Uh, either way is fine. They're a little different for very specific things. Some are better for some games, some are better for others. It's largely unimportant. But one more thing to note is, especially with a game like this, the Virtual Boy has two D-pads. And that's important for games like this one. For example, I can rotate around with my attack with my right D-pad and move with my left one. So, if you're using a regular controller, you probably don't have, you probably don't have two D-pads. So, the way you're going to want to configure this is, if you're using a controller, I find, and this is optional, you can configure it how I want, however you want, but I find the best way to do it is press, is map the left D-pad to your controller's D-pad, map the right D-pad to your controller's base bu face button, one and two are like A and B, are like the A and B buttons on a, you know on say an NES controller. I would map those to your to your bumpers and L and R to your triggers, and then of course start and select go to start and select. So using this emulator is pretty simple, but there is a catch to this emulator. There's there's a reason you won't want to use it for everything. There's a few games that have 3D elements and 2D, such as say 3D Virtual Tetris, for example. I'll just uh, give you a little demo of what this game looks like. So you might have noticed from the title screen, but if I'm just to go into a game of 3D Tetris, it's going to look like this. This is indecipherable. This isn't fun for you. This isn't fun for anybody who's watching you. So what you're going to want to do with this is you're going to want to use the other emulator uh, that I have prepared. Because... With VBGen, there's no way to get around this. You're stuck with this. Uh, and there's one other instance where you're going to want to use the other emulator while we're in here. And say, Mario's Tennis is the only game I've found so far that does this, but it might be others. Some games just look a little weird on this emulator. So we're going to go into Mario's Tennis, and... It's all distorted. It's not having the same issue, but... Look at Donkey Kong over here. Donkey Kong Jr. Hold on, let's wait for him to get a little closer. They're farther away. There you see. All of the sprite work in this game has just... Th this game has kind of just ruined itself. So... This is no good either. So what you're going to want to do for games like this... is you're going to want to, you're first going to need a emulator called Medenfen, and then you're going to want the uh, Medlaunch UI for this. Now, this is actually a bit of a challenge to get set up in and of itself. It's not as simple as just plug and play, but if you look them up, there's plenty of tutorials on how to get Med, um, Medfen and Medlaunch to work. Uh, these, this is a multi-emulator, uh, or a multi-console emulator. So, 
we're going to launch MedLaunch. And once you have MedLaunch running, which it takes a second to load, you're going to want to make some changes here. Because... So what you're going to, you're going to need to, so what you're going to do is you're, so I already have it all set up here, but you're going to need to select a library. So all my games are here. And that's fine, but if you want to actually be able to Once I can figure out where this was again, because I game folders. So you'll see in here that these are the folders that you're going to want. Um, these are where you can, you know, link your different platforms for. You know, this emulator has a lot of platforms, including the Virtual Boy here. So here's my path to, the, to get to the Virtual Boy, where I keep all my Virtual Boy games. You're going to want to update this, and that will populate this list here. So, one last thing here, and this is the important part, is you're going to want to open this page. And if you scroll down here in the configs and you select, you need, if you select the Virtual Boy configs, which I'll find in just a second, Nintendo Virtual Boy, you're going to want to set 3D mode to side by side. Um, this is very important, and this won't be the best, this may not be the best solution, but it's kind of all, all there is. So I'll take, so let's open one of those games that was giving us a bit of trouble. Let's uh, open 3D Tetris again. So, 3D Tetris. Uh, you'll notice that it shows me two screens now. But both screens work fine now. Um, we're in black and white instead of purple. Neither of which are actually the virtual white color, game, uh, color scheme. But this is how you're going to want to do this. If you're capturing these for, um, you know, if you're a streamer or, you know, a YouTuber, you're going to want to... Um, you're, you're going to want to just capture the left half of this window. Um, if you're not, you can... Either way, you can kind of... If you want to make it a little easier on yourself, you can kind of shove this off to the side of your uh, the side of your monitor here. And uh, then you only have to see one. But it is a bit... That's kind of the best solution for using this. You know, you can have the left one too if you want it. So, that's what you do for games like this. Um, so, I hope that... So, just one last thing with this emulator. The controller support, this might just be an issue with me, doesn't really work very well. It doesn't actually get all of my buttons. So, I had to use Joy to Key over here to map the buttons to keys and use those for uh, for this emulator. So, if you're having trouble with that, uh, I don't know if you would be. But that was some, definitely something I had trouble with, so keep that in mind if your keys aren't working. So, that's kind of it for this. I hope that um, if you watch this, I hope that you decided to play some Virtual Boy games, despite the fact that the console was a gigantic failure. The library actually has a number of interesting games, and they're probably worth your time. And you know, if you're a streamer or if you're like me, if you're a speedrunner, I hope to see I hope to see you uh, running some of these games too, because some of them are definitely worth your time. So, thanks for watching. Bye.